All right. Attempt number two. I don't want to I don't want to feed on people more, because, uh... I'm gonna need protein and fortitude, I believe. Ow. My pain. Yes. That's what I need. Give me a proper feeding. Only way, way I'm gonna keep these meters up to feed this stat I need. You're looking, uh... Who was just shooting me? Okay, we gotta keep going. Ah! There we go. Yum, 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 yum. Jeez. I'll just keep going. It's easier than fighting him. At this point. There we go. This should keep me alive. When things get worse. Because, boy, do they come at you in numbers. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ah! God damn. This is like a problem. He's not dead. Alright. God damn, people do damage. Hey, stop that. There we go. I must heal. Okay, so at least that gives me some healing. Oh, did it wear off? Did he fight me off? Stop fighting me off. I must feed. Oh, you know. Why did you do that? I needed that. I, I, I take so much damage. Am I... Am I lockpicking? I can't tell if I'm lockpicking. I don't think I'm lockpicking. Oh, he did that thing where he randomly attacks. Okay. Let's do this. A lot of prolonged fight sequences lately. Ooh. I can't go there. I think that was broken for a completely unrelated reason. Ah, stop that. Yum, yum, yum. Yes. Do not interrupt my feeding. I need to recover my health constantly. And my blood for that matter. But yeah. There we go. This feels like an improvement on last time, to some extent. Well, stop attacking people. Why is he doing that? Is that a frenzy? Why my friends? Is it? I guess I might have low frenzy checks because I'm this character. Although no, I'm not because I got a plus one on top of that. So I got a minus one and a plus one. It's so unfortunate that he's like perfectly timed to interrupt me. Ah, how did I miss? Okay, he's he's dead apparently. Is there? Oh, it's you. Stop right there, criminal scum. You, you get distracted by that guy. There we go. Feed. Yes. Ow! You killed him. You damn dirty ape. Yep. We're serpentine. Serpentine. Hey now. Don't be rude. Here, I'll get him. There we go. He's still punching him while I'm eating him. That's kind of amazing. My god. Alright. Things are going alright. Things are going alright. <laughs> Why does he do that? I can't tell if that's a bug or not. Where are we going? Shit, I'm lost. Uh... Oh, here, oh, we are going this way. It just looks like we're not, because it's, it's so black. It looks like out of place. Huh. There we go. 
I need, I need you to stop. Stop that. That hurt. Thankfully, you've got so much sustenance for me to rip back out. Isn't that nice of you? Really courteous at fixing your mistakes. Hey, what? Is he still alive? What? Did you just, poli did you just, did you just politely watch that happen? Do you not like that guy? Okay, that's a little too courteous. That's weird courteous. Am I going this way, or...? No, that's an invisible wall. That's not a real door. Okay. Yeah, I need to turn my buffs off, because I, I need to figure out where to go. There he is, down there. Am I supposed to be up here, or...? I mean, I feel like once we're at this location, we're free. You can run in any direction, and, and you'll get away, buddy. Go! Follow your dreams. Follow your nose! Did I miss a door? Also, the dialogue, I think, said I'll follow him, but he's not going anywhere. Stop world peace. Die. Everybody, everyone will die. Okay. Can I talk to you? Is this intended or not? He doesn't seem to be able to get up here. Sward. Wheels in the sky keep on turning. Alright, well this really took our pulse pounding escape down to a halt. Um I had to fight my way through this room, so surely I had to go that way, right? Otherwise, what's the point of all the bad guys or something? Yeah, the uh, quest log doesn't give me, like, more hint. You can't go through here. Oh no, is something wrong? Why, though? Whereas that one doesn't require lockpicking at all. We did it, dude! We escaped! Yay! I mean, the vampire hunters aren't after us, so, uh, quest completed. Give me my experience reward and let me leave. Like, <laughs> I feel like we won. Is there like a quest item that I'm missing in the middle of this battleground? I can't interact with any of these devices, I don't think. Oh, 
All right. Well, I feel like I did my due diligence. Let's uh try googling whether there's any known bugs for hunters hunting. Yeah, no. Uh, as far as I can tell, th I did it right. I think the issue is that he's not coming up here. Come on, buddy. Ladders. <gasps> come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yeah. I think that was the last one. Here, this is for your troubles. You know, I only lived in Hollywood for 10 years. I wonder how long I'll live on in her after I go. Hmm. Thanks. It was as far as I could fall. It was as low as I could go. Way past oblivion to a point only described as negative zero. And cut. There's no such thing as negative zero. That's the same. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, he just he the, he just couldn't figure out the pathfinding. Like he couldn't he couldn't navigate the the weird uh, ladder. Which, considering it's right at the end of the level, kind of felt unnecessary. I feel like they could have just not risked whether the AI would be able to climb the ladder or not, and just have it end downstairs. I don't think the last two enemies necessarily like added to the experience necessarily. So you could probably could have just ended. In fact, going upstairs made it. It revealed how weird the end of that hallway looks, so having you not have a go up a ladder actually makes the environment look better and avoids the pathing bug where he just won't figure out how to get up there. Oh well. We did it. We did it because we're great and we nailed it and there's a ghost over here. Talk to Ming Xiao in the Golden Temple. Oh, we're not talking about this building at all, are we? Can I go in here yet? I do have the key for here. Ooh. Quick save, new location and all that. Okay. Oh, that was the gargoyle quest. The gargoyle that's taking place in the res in the theater. Yeah. I've got blood. I'm good. Whoa. Okay, I was expecting more of like a... Well, a gargoyle. Oh, he's, he, I guess he's got an ape face? That's still not really what I expect a gargoyle to look like, though. Kindred invader, monster, I will smash you, crush you, tear the flesh from your bones. Hold on, I'm not here to fight you, I just want to talk. Talk? No! Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all! Abominations! A curse upon the earth! <laughs> Wait, I come in peace. I can offer... I have an offer from Isaac Abrams. <laughs> offer? What offer? Yet another lie. He hopes to control me, to enslave me, just as my master before him. First he sends his underlings to destroy me, and now he wants to make peace. No! Curse him! Curse you all! <laughs> He doesn't want to enslave you, he just wants you to work for him. Yeah, that sounded better before I said it. <laughs> no! There will be no more talk. Death for you, demon. Death and final darkness. There has to be another way. Nope. Nope. Oh god, I didn't mean to even press that one. I pressed the wrong one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh god. I'm gonna be in trouble.
Oops. Could not jump out of the way. Yes. Keep doing that. Ooh, not your smartest call, was it? Hit the last one. Yes. Oh! I thought it would bring the place down on him. This is not going according to plan. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh boy. Yeah, I was really hoping the destructibility of this place was going to be more of a boon for me than it has turned out to be. Uh, he's hard, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, that health is melting. I guess this is why I saved these healing items. He's not even damaged. Shit. He's not even getting that stunned, honestly. Well, that's not good. Oops, try and grab me. Ah. Could have gotten better. Still, I developed a system. I was definitely avoiding a lot of damage there. Alright. The fight, yeah, if he, if he, uh... I mean, maybe, I don't know about gar gargoyles, but I figure they probably don't eat people, so... He probably has the moral high ground here, and, he's, and is largely completely right about everything he says about the people. As funny as, it sa as that sounds. Oh, God damn it! This is not going very well. God damn it. Ah, it tracks me. I'm somewhat intentionally not, uh... Once I use a certain number of healing items, I'm kind of giving up on purpose, because I don't want to spend my entire supply in one fight. That, uh, I'm gonna feel that in the future. I'm trying to figure out a system for fighting him effectively. Alright, let's do a quick save that's after this fight, after this conversation. God damn it. Alright, quick save. Oopsie. Okay. Options. Controls. Crouch. Strafe. 
Just making sure there's not like a dodge that I'm forgetting exists or something. I don't think there was. Yeah, I don't think there was. I mean, a little bit of blood here. Or I'm gonna run out. That fight had a weird feel to it, because <laughs> it was exactly like doing the ancient drag. Whoa, there's a room back there. Right, because it's the theater. Didn't realize it was open, I guess. That was just like doing the uh, <laughs> the ancient dragon fight in Dark Souls 2, where you walk up to his... T Whoa, is there supposed to be a door here or not? Whoa, that was weird. Uh, the ancient dragon fight in Dark Souls 2 was devastatingly difficult, and he was so strong, and it seemed like such an unfair fight. But if you ran up in between his toes, he would keep trying to stomp on you. So you could keep luring him to do the stomping animation forever and keep wailing on him in a really repetitive loop. And it was it made the, fee the fight so much easier because everything else he did was so dangerous. But that one thing was like so avoidable. So I got, him in, I got him into a loop where I realized if I don't move at all, if I just keep attacking him and jumping and not pressing any other buttons, he just keeps stomping in this fight. And then I was like, oh, I can, I can use this. And then during the second half of the fight in particular, I realized, oh, I can avoid damage entirely if I don't lead the attack. If I wait for him to stomp, then jump, attack, attack, attack. Whereas otherwise, by default, I would be, I, the usual approach would be to attack and then try to react in time and avoid the attacks when they happen. But instead, I was specifically avoiding first and then attacking as a response to the ev evasion. Like, oh, he stomps. Like, wait for the stomp, jump, attack, attack, attack. And I, I just kept doing that, and that definitely took care of it. Am I supposed to be able to get in here? The way the door was popping in and out tripped me up. You're probably allowed in here. I don't know if he could be in here or not. I'm kind of curious whether you could fight him or not. They didn't even clean up the garbage. Uh, it's probably homeless people garbage. Yeah. That's probably not garbage from when this place was running. I was thinking for a second there that they... Let, they, let, oh, they left the garbage one day and just left without cleaning anything up when they were closing. But no, this is like people dwelling here after it's closed. I would guess. That's not a real door. I was kind of gauging whether or not you come here later in the story or anything like that. But these, uh, all these doors are fake. So they don't, they don't open. Uh, probably. Probably. Maybe I could have fought him in there. Or maybe it's just a nice room to look at be to complete the scene since it's supposed to be a theater. I'm a little surprised you didn't fight him in the theater. You fought him in the lobby. The lobby entryway feels like it would lead up to the boss fight, and then you'd fight him there. But maybe that's why it came as a surprise when he came out of nowhere like that. Alright. Yeah, those were both quests for Isaacs, right. And hey, I got through that with only one blood pack used. Quick save. Just realized, oh, I should save that progress. I'll have to repeat that uh, performance. So I'm looking for... His place... Which is harder to remember each time, because it's, it's, it is kind of out of the way. 
So I've just got up oh, Vesuvius. That's where I started my run, right? So it's not the back alley there, right? No, it's the other side of the entire map. I'm afraid to feed on people because this map's kind of small. And everyone I eat might die in a, in one second. To everyone, maybe I fed on them before. I feel like the go-to places for feeding people involve me feeding on the same three people over and over again, and then they die. Which is the problem. He's healthy. Nice. I'm nervous now because of my mistakes in the past. One where I just slipped up, because, yeah, people die surprisingly fast. And the second one where I just straight up, uh, screwed up. And I fed on somebody that had fed on before and it had not reset them. Then there was the time where I ate rats in public, which led to, uh, the, I just, I, the feed attempt failed. I just tried to use the door with F. Some games use E, e and some games use F. Evening. I've killed the gargoyle. I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside, but I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. Are you also an Anarch? I don't think I realized that. I thought he was another faction. Or his own faction, or just on his own, period. I've got nothing against the Anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Right, later. Evening. About that gift, can I have it now? Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. The Pearl of Dubai. No, he doesn't. Thanks for the gift, Isaac. Evening. Certainly. Nope, I'm not allowed to ask him any more questions. It's, it was all a lie. Why is the dialogue option even there? I wonder. If all the options don't exist behind that, might as well just not show it up at all. Prince wants the sarcophagus now. Yeah, I'm not interested in those two quests. Gary wants you to find his spy, Barabus. Went to Chinatown and disappeared. So Chinatown's next, potentially. How are we doing on... Ooh, 15. Up there again, huh? Uh, more soak or more stamina. Strength is eight. I could use more dodge, honestly. Let's do combat defense and strength. Combine those two. Just make me better all around. There we go. Right, run the other side of town. Gotta orient myself. Whoa. Physics. Her entire skirt just went straight up. I'm like, I... Alright, physics. That's an interesting interpretation of how those work. Then again, that cop just fell one foot below the surface of the earth for a second there and then came back up. So I guess let's not point too many fingers throughout what's going on here.